Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revit's Global Knowledge. Today, I'm going to share with you how to create roots architect. It's the green architect in Revit. Those green architect, I will visualization with my Revit architecture template. I will convert from my concept to mask and transfer into our project that we will create our roots architect by using our topo surface and we can split our topo surface to create some kind of road or lake or river or so for the tutorial but i just give you a quick instruction before we start that first thing i will create, create our conceptual mask in the first and second thing i will transfer from our conceptual mask in the first into our project by using that export to our dwg file is a cat file and only i create another rules architect on my project okay so here is my photo reference before we jump into our project of course for the tutorial we will create our topo surface for our rules also now before i get in start i would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about it make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notification if you don't want to miss my future tutorial okay now i think it's pretty much for introduction let's speak into our project together okay so here we are in revit architecture interface so what i'm going to do in order to add our green rules architect first thing i need to create our conceptual mask first but i will start create our conceptual mask in our mask environment the reason for that because when i want to revive my conceptual mask it's easier for me i just go back to my conceptual mask here will be automatically our graphic when we load into our Revit architecture interface. So now I'm going to our conceptual mask. First thing I'm going to our file over there, then go to new, go to our family, then I just finding for endless, then finding for conceptual mask, then hit metric mask, then hit open up. Once I open that, Revit will be transformed me to another page. Okay, here we are in conceptual mask in the first. First thing I need to sell our file first. I go to file there, then go to sell. Then I will sell it. Just make it for. I will make it on desktop. Then just make it for topo surface mask. Just make it like this. Then I can hit sell. Okay. Now I think we done our sell our family file already. It's time to create our complex rules. First thing I need to set a work plan first. And before I set a work plan, I need to create some level first. LL for shortcut key. Then I just make it for 5 meter from level 1 to level 2. Hit a a couple of time. Then I can set a plan. Set for vertical. Start from front here. Now it's time to draw our complex rules. I'm going to our spline through point. Then I will start manually like this. I can play around with this whatever that I want. It depends what kind of rule that I want. I just make it like this. It does get a couple of time. Then I can control my point there. In order to control that, I just like my point. Then I just draw on my red arrow there. I want to change the direction to right side or left side it depends what i want and i can also controlling for top or bottom it depends on what i want also so i'm going to adjustment it just make it small lightly once i done that i need to get another spline to point first and our rules architect i prefer using our spline to point until 30 meter so i'm going to our spline to point again as you can see here now we need to set our work, work plan again hit us get a couple of time then start for set set for vertical again then i can start draw again obviously you can draw any step that you want it depends on what you want in your revit project hit us get a couple of time now it's time to copy that i just move this guy over there i will move it for 13 meter let me see first hit escape first i want to adjustment here first because here is almost a tab with our floor already so i'm going to move it up yeah, like this start from right side in order to move it just move it for 15 meter hit escape 
then like here again then I can copy just copy it make it centimeter hit us get a couple of time then I can start from our home there then I can select all of them like this then I can click add form and solid form so now we done our rules already it's time to load into our project I just load into our project here and I can place anywhere that I want I simply place for the center here like this it has get a couple of time then I need to open it for 3d for create our rules we just like our rules here then go to our machine inside rules then I can select my rules again then I can create rules as you can see here now we done our rules already and I can go to our massing inside then I'm going to hide our mask here hit us get a couple of time one I done that I need to create our wall first go from top here then start from architecture tab go to wall here or wa for shortcut key then I will start for rectangle just simply make it like this hit us get a couple of time then I'm going to start like this then I just hit a tab key in order to select all then I turn to top best as you can see here now our route is cutting already then I can change it to our storefront okay as you can see here we got some warm inside but don't worry about that just annoy it hit a scale a couple of times as you can see here but as you know we are used we are create our rules by mass we could not split that or make our some kind of roads or lake or river on top of that and plus our side component on top of that as you can see here it's hardly to plus and not a correct way to plus that so how could i saw that as you can see here not a correct way so how could I solve that first thing I'm going back to my 3d here is my concept so much in the first then I'm going to our file over there then go to export tab I will export it to our cat file go to DWG for cat file then just to next then I'm going to rename it the post first mask 3d I will rename it 401 and just hit ok once I done that I need to turn back to my 3d over there then go to our insert tab and go to import cat finding for this guy over there then I, I will start from positioning is auto center to center then I can open up as you can see here once I done that I can select only my AutoCAD file that I spot before then hi on my keyboard for hidden element now it's time to transfer our roots to topo surface First thing I'm going to our massing inside again. Start our topo surface, then create as so from import, select import here, then I can select here again, then I can untake for level level. Basically the level here is our level from our mass environment, so I can hit OK. Once I done that revit will be start generating to create our topo surface rules. As you can see here, don't worry about warning sign, then I can just hit finish. Okay, then I need to delete our binary first section first, then delete it, then I can change it to our consistent color, I think. Okay, as you can see here, it's quite perfect. So once I've done that, I'm going to revert back all elements, just HR, then start from front here. I need to move it, just um, V for move, I will move it like this, just slightly move it like this. Yep, as you can see here. Then start from level one. Let me adjustment our view rank first. We are for view rank. Just make it for ten meter, and make it ten meter, and make it unlimited for our bottom there. For view dev, I will make it for unlimited also. It's applied and it's okay. Then I can select here. Let me see first. Okay, we hardly to see that. I think we'll start from our 3D view. It's better. Then I'm going to move it again. Just make it balance. Okay, 
Okay, we almost dead. So we need two adjustment more. Okay, perfect. One, I done that. I can turn around. Then it's like our concept so much here. I can start from front here. I need to move it up. Just move it up. I will move it up like this. Okay, we need to move more until the top. Okay, so I think I will be offset from our roots is about 100 millimeter in make it properly. Then I'm going to move it more. Just move it about 100 millimeter. Okay. I think now it's on top of our roots already. So I'm going to our material tie. I will create a new material there, over there. Then just create a new material, or we can search here for grass. Okay, I think it's um, just make like this. Like, I think it's okay. Then go to our real estate. As you can see here, it's finite. Then I can place our sign component also on top here. If I want to place that. Come on, as you can see here. And of course, I can split our element by go to our messing and side. Then start from top view there. I can split our element. I just lay our roots like this. Then I can simply start place here and make our rows here also it depends on what i want like this then i'm going to offset here again just offset it for i think offset it for three meter use a pick line just pick here like this hit a sketch then i can connect it that TR for trim and extend. Hit a sketch, then I can hit finish. As you can see here, now we split our element already and we can change material to our roots also. I finding for concrete. As you can see here it's quite nice for visualization okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial i just give you a quick concept to create our green rule architect in revit i hope this tutorial have you out for your project school or your project for representation to your client you might be need to take time to create that because it's just a quick concept to you guys for that and if you want more effectively and more realistic you need to play around until got what you want inside your project okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish and if you are first time here make sure hit subscribe button below and click a bell icon and turn all for all notifications if you don't want to miss my future tutorial thank you guys for watching and i see you for another tutorial in revit and have a nice day thank you